While some astronomical events are pretty common, there are those which occur only once a year or once in a hundred years. Let's have a look at the coolest and rarest events we might be able to see with our own eyes. The first amazing celestial event on our list is the Perseid meteor shower that will take place from the 17th of July to the 24th of August 2024. This event is going to be one of the most vibrant of the year. At its peak, between the 12th and 13th of August, you might see up to 100 meteors per hour, if you're in a dark place, that is. This meteor shower is caused by debris from the comet Swift-Tuttle. As meteors streak through Earth's atmosphere, they often leave behind long wakes of light and color. The perfect time for watching this cosmic show is right before dawn. On the 2nd of October 2024, we'll be able to watch a ring of fire solar eclipse. Its scientific name is an annular eclipse, and it occurs when the moon is slightly farther away from our planet. In this case, when the disks of the moon and the sun align, the moon's shadow doesn't completely block the sun's light. As a result, you can see a ring of sunlight around the moon. This time, the ring of fire will be visible in southern Chile and southern Argentina. So book your flights early. Another cool event that will occur this October is the Draconid meteor shower. During this event, meteors are more likely to fly in the evening hours than in the early morning. This is usually a slow shower, producing just a handful of meteors per hour. On the other hand, astronomers speak of a rare fiery Draco, which has been known to send many hundreds of meteors across the sky within a single hour. Are we going to get lucky this year? <laughs> Time will show. Starting from the 12th of October and for the following week, you'll have a chance to see a comet passing by our planet. Now, even though this nearly unpronounceably named Big Boy will be about 40 million miles away from the Earth at its closest point, you might be able to see it with the unaided eye. Now, comets have a reputation of being quite unpredictable. Most of these dusty, icy space bodies are thought to have originated on the outskirts of the solar system millions of years ago. And there, they spent most of their time in the dark, inert and unnoticed, like me in middle school. Now, some of them come closer to the sun, and many experts already forecast a fantastic celestial spectacle in October. So if you miss the meteor showers we've talked about, you'll be able to catch up. Orionid meteor showers will keep going from the 26th of September till the 22nd of November 2024. Sometimes this event can produce from 40 to 70 meteors per hour. But recently, the maximum number was lower, from 20 to 30 visible meteors. And the final event for this year is going to be the Geminid meteor shower. And let me tell you, this event is going to be breathtaking. Astronomers claim that this meteor shower is one of the best of the year because of bright, visible meteors. Around 120 shooting stars are likely to streak across the sky per hour. Interestingly, while most meteor showers come from comets consisting of dust and ice, the Geminids originate from a rocky asteroid. Scientists still don't know how to classify this asteroid, since it has a tail and brightens as it comes closer to the sun, just like a comet. On the other hand, recently, astronomers have discovered that the asteroid's tail is not made up of dust, but of sodium gas. All right, let's travel farther into the future. In 2029, we'll witness the darkest lunar eclipse of the century. A lunar eclipse occurs when our natural satellite completely hides in Earth's shadow. Sometimes, when it happens, the moon can look bright red. Normally, the closer the moon is to the center of the shadow of our planet, the darker the eclipse is. And, according to experts, the eclipse on June 26, 2029 will be extremely dark. It will last for about an hour and 42 minutes and will be the most visible in South America. So again, don't forget to book your tickets. A supermoon that's also the second full moon to occur within one month is known as a blue supermoon. Such supermoons don't follow a regular schedule and occur every 10 years or so. According to NASA, the next blue supermoons will happen in January and March 2037. Then, three years later, in 2040, we'll witness the parade of planets, when five planets of the solar system – Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn – will line up. Of course, it won't be a perfectly straight line but it will still be a pretty impressive view. 
Some planets, like Venus and Jupiter, can be clearly observed even in big cities and with the unaided eye. But during the parade of planets, you'll be able to see more. So perhaps it's time to stock up on telescopes. The brightest supermoon of the 21st century will occur in 2052. The thing is, the orbit of our natural satellite isn't perfectly round. The moon follows an elliptical path while traveling around Earth. That's why there are two points closest to Earth, called the perigee, and the farthest, known as the apogee. On the 6th of December, 2052, we'll see a stunning supermoon. Our satellite will be around 221,000 miles away from our planet, which is closer than normally. In 2060, we're likely to see a comet called 15P Finlay. It will be one of the closest comets to approach our planet in the last 100 years. It'll fly by at a distance of around 3.1 million miles. And here's the thing. Every time a comet comes close to the Sun, it heats up and starts emitting gases and dust, looking like a little star. Thanks to solar winds, it also gets a beautiful long tail. And the closer to Earth a comet passes, the brighter it looks in the sky. So get ready for a breathtaking show! In 2084, something known as an Earth eclipse will occur, becoming one of the most exciting events of the 21st century. Sadly, we won't be able to see this mm. celestial spectacle from Earth, duh, obviously, but we might be able to admire it from Mars. During this event, the Moon and Earth will pass by the Sun, looking like dark silhouettes. Such an event is known as a planetary transit, something like a solar eclipse but with other planets instead of the Moon. Now, in 2100, for those of us still here, the North Star will be the closest to the North Celestial Pole. Sailors have been using this famous star for centuries to figure out where North is. But the funniest thing about this is that this star isn't perfectly aligned with North. The reason is that Earth doesn't have a fixed axis. It rotates in space like a giant spinning top in a process called orbital precession. That's why the North Star doesn't remain in the same place in the sky. It moves slowly but steadily. But on the 24th of March, 2100, the polar star will finally appear over the true north of our planet. And after that, it'll start moving away again, to return 26,000 years later. So as you can see, it's going to be a truly rare event. Plus, it'll be like a parting gift from the North Star. Since Earth's axis is constantly moving, in around 2,000 years, the North Star will be replaced by another, Gamma Cephalus. So the close approach in 2100 will be the nearest it will be to our planet for a long, long time. So I hope you've made notes of the most interesting astronomical events of the next 100 years. The coolest thing is that to witness most of them, you don't even need to buy a telescope. They're going to be visible to the unaided eye. Ooh, look at that! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.